All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 70. All right. So now that we have our list, probably lists of elements, we can pass them to our get calories from inputs function to extract the calorie total, right? So we're going to declare a breakfast calories variable and assign it the result of calling get calories from inputs with the breakfast number inputs with pardon me, with breakfast number inputs as the argument. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say const or let, I guess, uh, breakfast calories equal. And we're going to have it equal get calories from input. So it's going to be this thing here. We're going to do this. And for the argument, we're going to put uh, breakfast number inputs. All right. So we'll put this in there and we'll cap it off with a semicolon. All right. So let's go through what this is doing. So breakfast number inputs is this, all right? So it's the input. So it's if we do like uh, brownies with 500 calories and uh, ice cream with uh, 1,000 calories, right? So it's only going to be looking for the type number, okay? So let's get rid of this for a second, the preview. And it's going to be looking for the type number, which is down here. Um not even that. Actually, let's get rid of this. And it's going to be looking at these inputs that we made. And oh, oh, and it's going to be looking at this this number input right here. It's not going to bother with the uh, text input. Right. So it's just going to see the thousand, the one thousand and the. Uh, the other one and the five hundred. Right. And it, it resets over here. So. Just imagine there's a thousand and five hundred over here. Okay, so it's going to see that, and we're going to, and then we're going to do, uh, and then we're going to do the get calories from inputs. Okay, so we're doing this here, and it's going to let cal calories equal zero to start off with. That's our initial value, and then four let i equal zero while i is less than list dot length i plus plus. The list is going to be the breakfast number inputs, which is going to be the five hundred and the a thousand, right? So that's what's going on here. So for the first thing it goes through is the 500. And so it's going to check that it's going to have the current value, which is going to clean up the uh, the input. So if it was like 500 with a space and a plus and a minus, it would just turn it to 500. Right. Uh, and then if it had and if it had like uh, characters like 500, like if it said something like this, if it said like 500, uh, calories, which it, it won't even let us do. It won't even let us do uh, anything like that. But if it did, I don't know why we're even checking. But if it did, it would it would throw this error if it had anything other than uh, what we're looking for over here. But it's not going to ever do that because it won't allow us to write something like that in there. Regardless, it's going to check that on the invalid input match. Right. So if this is cool, if this doesn't throw an error, uh, it's going to add to the calories, the 500, and then it'll go to the next one and add to the calories, the 1000, and then it's going to return the 1500 calories down here. And that's basically what this is doing so far. J and this is just for the breakfast so far as well. All right. So let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 71. And we'll see you next time.